Hello everybody, my name is Mike Kanick and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, La Resistance, where we are carrying on playing as China. Now, guys, in the last episode, I believe that we did happen to turn a corner here in the war against Japan. We have successfully fended off every one of their beach landings and made them pay dearly for it. Now, I do want to tell you, uh, before we start here, I uh, played about five minutes of the game um, before double checking and then realizing that I had not started recording yet. So I didn't get too far and rather than reload from the last save, I just thought I'd catch you up here because you didn't miss a lot. Uh, the one thing you did miss was that we managed to surround the port here in uh, East uh, Heibai and we cut off and destroyed a Japanese division there and managed to push the front line a little bit forward so before we get into anything else because this is kind of uh topical right now uh to comments uh first from wendy delise uh who did rightly point out that i left this port wide open at tianjin in my haste my vigor to push northward and kind of strike while the iron's hot so what i have done is taking an extra division from the coastal defense army and i am rushing them up here and also up here while we're at it to the newly acquired port now i don't know what capturing that port is necessarily going to do to japanese supply because obviously they have nothing but ports back here if anything it will extend their supply line a little bit more across really rough terrain and probably very poor infrastructure as well so well, actually, that's five there. What do we got here? Five. Okay, if they're going through Korea, it's a little bit rougher. But in any case, the point is that is that we're pushing forward and cutting off Japanese divisions while we go. Now, you can see here, I kind of started an assault. Uh, this, taking this territory right here is one, going to push them back across the river. And two, it's going to shorten up our front line here. That'll turn these two territories into one and that will free up more divisions for us to send elsewhere uh also here we're just going for biting off little chunks right here we're trying trying to cut off this one division because you can see the japanese just aren't well equipped to defend this part they weren't expecting us to take that port and then shoot forward so now they're trying to fill in the gaps and they left a gap here which we we're trying to exploit with a cavalry division to get that division cut off now my next plan of attack is to is to get uh minkuko knocked out of the war and we can possibly do that here and in doing so possibly even cut off some japanese divisions Right here, if you look, if we attacked and shot straight north, it is one, two, three, four provinces. Four provinces that we would have to shoot across northward, and then everything from here westward is cut off. I can't see what else is over here, but I imagine that there's at least maybe ten to a dozen divisions, max. That wouldn't be a huge loss for them, but what it would do is allow these divisions here, the rest of the divisions in our uh, Orange Army, the Home Reserve Army, to make their way towards Zhang Bei. And I would like to pursue that. And the other thing I have done, what I started doing in the five minutes that I played, was, guys, we're dancing around the obvious here. I kept, you know, scrambling our uh, quick reaction force army here and there, north and south, to... You know contain the landings and swallow up their divisions but just to stop the madness for a while um i have basically just drawn defensive lines along the coastline with the quick reaction force army in the places that they like to land in the most now we are likely going to have to go and put out fires here and there with these divisions but for the time being that will free our attention up to be able to fight the war in the north uh, we do have four divisions of that same army kind of detached and up and over here because I do not want to try to retake this port again. That was kind of a nightmare, so we're not going to do that. So other, in other news, we are ready to go and rescue our operative, Jackie Chan. So we are going to go ahead and prepare the rescue operative 
uh, course of action here. And yes, we will be using Bruce Lee to do so. That is going to take 200 units of infantry equipment. Fine. We will do that. Now, speaking of infantry equipment, we really need to get rid of this communist cell that we have that infiltrated in Xi'an. And we need a thousand units of infantry equipment to do so. And I know I just used 200 of infantry equipment that we don't have, but we are producing close to 100 per day. So that is something we need to get done ASAP. But more importantly, we can finally get rid of, we can do the last army reform decision here. And we are going to go ahead and do that. And that is going to finally get rid of the army corruption. And that's going to boost our attack and defense by 16% and finally get rid of this really nasty national spirit. And I can't tell you how happy that makes me. We started this war with minus 50% on both. And we are about to be rid of it, hopefully this episode. And the Japanese are going to pay, consequently. So we did finish the national focus over here as well. Uh, the War of National Liberation, which... Ukraine says plus 10 attack on our core territory. I'm fine with that for right now, where that is at. What we are going to do next is come over here and go down this tree, because this is going to lessen our consumer goods factories. And at the end of this, it's going to start upping our factory output at the same time. So it's a multiplier. So we are going to start doing this right now, because we've been beating the Japanese on between four, well, we start out with like, what, eight factories, between like eight and 17 civilian factories. That's what we've been beating the Japanese with. And right now that is down to 14. So it will be nice to kind of turn that around and get rid of it. Uh, elsewhere, what we are going to do is enact war bonds until that kicks in, because we do need more factories. And all that gave us was one extra. Fine. I'm okay with that. So, with all that out of the way, were there any other adjustments we needed to make? Not really. Everything's looking good. Uh, we have enough anti-aircraft to convert another unit, but I want to save that because every time we convert a unit, it also takes up infantry equipment as well, and I need to save up to get rid of that communist cell that we have building in uh, Xi'an. So let's see how these attacks roll here. Looks like this one is just going to kind of stall, perhaps. Where is our air power located at right now? Okay, they're over here. And now our defighters are... Our defighters. Our fighters are being decisively whooped. Yeah. I mean, how's this looking? How many... Our troops bombed? 28. Our fighters lost. Yeah, dude. Oh, God. We're in such bad shape there. We might have to start fighter production like now i know we are or are we i thought we started researching the hawk um okay well i'm not going to start building planes until we do or maybe we should just have something in the air yeah you know what yeah we have to we have to but where to take from Let's take one from anti-air. Since we are building military factories at the moment, we will make that one back up. So let's go. Oh, geez. I hate building into our fighters in 1938. This is embarrassing, but we got to do it. We have to do it. So we have to get something in the air. Okay, good. And we did win there, and that shortens our front line pretty significantly. So I'm happy about that. And they are trying to retake it. And we will make them pay for every... Well, for everything. Just everything. So, I'm thinking the best place to start this is at their weakest point here. So, let's go ahead. We can safely attack from both of these provinces. Without fear of retaliation. So, let's go ahead and do that. Since they only have the one division here. And we will have these two divisions continue on. Uh, can we support from here? Oops. Yeah. Can we support from here? We cannot. Okay. So these guys are on their own. 
Oh god, their air power is just brutal, guys. Their air power. Oh god. And that's why we need more of our anti-aircraft type divisions over here. The one, Our main force infantry divisions that have uh, anti-aircraft capability. So let's go ahead and help out here. And looks like that's going to be a win. Or could be a win. You know what? You know what? Let's go for this cutoff then. And we'll pin you down. Uh, that's another division cut off. I am worried about how this front line is going to get out of control. Like extending, but we'll see. It'll be okay, guys. It'll be okay. And wow, that attack was soundly defeated. I am a little bit shocked. Not really, though. Because our divisions are still pretty garbage. Okay, so we'll have to worry about that later. Alright, guys. And this is not going to work, clearly. So, let's go ahead and call it off. I mean, we could push them back there. And if it's a win, we may as well. Alright, retreat. Just retreat. Alright. Yeah, we're... Likely going to get this division cut off. Likely. And you notice we're not getting any more uh, alerts for naval invasions. I'm guessing they're just kind of poking and prodding around for a place that isn't defended on the coastline. But I'm glad. I'm very glad. Oh boy. Okay, what decisions do we got? Uh, improved worker. Yeah, we don't want to do any of that right now. Okay. This is prepared. Let's go get Jackie Chan, please. Come on, Bruce Lee. Who's the real Kung Fu minister here? Let's go. Why are you guys here? Don't. Yeah, come here. We don't want that right now. That's going to really overextend our front line. When what we really want is to cut off this division. So let's go ahead and do so now. And we'll support with that. All right, one more Japanese division dead. I'm really surprised we lost so badly, although that is a mountain province, so maybe I'm not surprised. Yeah, maybe I'm not surprised at all. Okay, we almost got our infantry equipment up. So I don't want to, I'm trying to hold off on the combat as much as possible until we uh, get enough infantry equipment up to deal with the communists. All right. Uh, it looks... Well, I don't want to overextend them right now, especially when we have an operation planned. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Bolster our ranks. I thought... Yeah, we did that already. To complete more than 60 divisions. Oh, well, I don't care about that one, one way or the other. It doesn't matter doesn't matter to me at all let's see oh wow if we get 200 army experience next we remove the spirit incompetent officers but what does that do let's see okay that's our uh command power gain gotcha that would be nice to get rid of i mean it's not necessary at the moment uh, we don't really use a whole lot of command power. Ooh, okay, this guy can be... Can he be promoted? No, no he can't. I was led... Led astray again. <clears throat> ah, no, not that. Alright, can you actually promote? No, you cannot. No, you cannot. And what about this guy? I'm sure he can. Yeah, infantry experts. Uh, let's make this guy finally one offensive general. The rest of them have been defensive. We need one offensive general. Because uh, from my perch where I'm standing, it kind of looks like we're on the offensive. And yeah, they're stretched so thin, guys. They are really stretched thin. All right, where are they trying to break in? <laughs> All right, so this strategy did pay off. Yeah, they got no support. And now they know. Is there anywhere else? 
Yeah, they seem to be really obsessed with uh, the southern part, and that would make sense even for the AI to try to, because they know all of our main forces are up north, so good for them. I'm so proud of them. All right, so let's have a look at the situation here. Uh, man, I really do want to get this breakthrough here, but I don't see it happening just yet. Okay. All right, now we can do this. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the communists in Xi'an. And let's do another counter-infiltration sweep. So yeah, let's let's go ahead and do that because uh, we already have two that the AI just handed to us, or the game just handed to us. So there's got to be more. And I don't want to get caught with our pantaloons down. Northern China. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, okay, so this is also paying off, which is good, because they definitely would have got that cut off with the amount that they're throwing at us here, or maybe. Would have been difficult, but they would have got it. We should mop up the few cells we know about. Communist contained. Okay, good. Of course, it said that right after I did the damn sweep. All right, let's look again at production, and we are in the green... On infantry equipment but we do have a second cell to contain so let's go ahead and divisions in the field oh oh I know so we might be able to do that if we do this did that work no how much do we have in the field oh 549k we we're only 6k short are you serious Oh, damn it. So close. Not that it matters. I just hate losing little challenges like that. Uh, you guys. Okay, I guess the quick reaction force does need a few extra bodies. Because we do have a lot more coastline to cover. Because the AI isn't just going to attack the same spots forever, I think. Large front operations. Beautiful. Okay. So our land doctrine is coming along quite nicely. Let's go ahead and get the Hawk. We need the at least, we're not even up to 1936 aircraft yet. Okay, and where did those three new divisions go? They're going somewhere on their own, but I don't want them to do that. I want uh, two to come right here. And let's see. And let's put one actually right here, because this is actually a very desirable landing spot, because it has a land fort. So let's go ahead and do that. Because if I were the Japanese and had, had to land somewhere... Oops. No, that's wrong. Yeah. Uh, no, you know what? Okay, yeah, we'll just give it to this one division here. That's fine. The one division there, because it does have a land fort. We don't need two there. And we'll assign these two right here. There we go. Although the home reserve army could use some troops as well, but I'm more concerned about containing them down south. So just keeping those landings from happening, guys. I don't want that. I just do not want that. Okay. How is our operation coming? Uh, it'll be done on the 9th of January. Okay, so about 10 more days. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, we got that extra military factory. Let's go ahead and put another into aircraft. Because we're going to switch that over as soon as we get the Hawk. And we have no rubber. He has no aluminum, no rubber. Great. Nothing with which to build aircraft. <laughs> oh my god. That's fine. Oh, 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 you left him all alone. Let's go ahead. We can get this. We can do this, guys. All right, you know what? Stop for now. Okay, Northern China, yep, we know. They're not going to stop here. 
Oh God, if only I could have enough naval superiority just to just take away some of these places from like Okinawa and Taiwan. We could get some freaking peace and quiet around here for a little bit, but they're not going to stop. They're just going to keep throwing away their divisions and planning and all that. So I'm okay with that. So I'm not going to complain. That is, in fact, why I put those divisions there. So, yeah, we can't... Oh, it's so disappointing that we lost there, but... You know what? Let's go ahead and start to switch some of these divisions over because it's the aircraft that are killing us in these battles up here. So let's get them... Oh, and these guys don't even need... They do not need uh, additional infantry equipment. So what was I thinking? Yeah, so we'll get these guys switched over. This is gorgeous. All right. Now we got a whole hell of a lot more anti-air over here for when we launch this attack. And I do want to make further changes to our divisions as well because uh, look at this. We have a lot of artillery, guys. So you know what that means. Uh, let's go ahead and go into our uh, editor here. Because we have now... What do we got? We got seven infantry. Yeah. But what we really need are engineer companies as well. That's going to have to wait. As for now, let's just add some more artillery. That's going to put our combat width at 21. So is that something we want to do? Yes, and I will make... I, I know how we're going to do this. Uh, it's going to come later, but that's... I know how we're going to do this. So let's go ahead and do that for now. Okay. Beautiful. Now, they're all going to need to catch up on artillery, you know, but that's okay, too. And let's go ahead and get this cut off while we can. And just do a spoiler attack there. And start to attack you definitely start to attack you. Wait, wait. Don't win too quickly now. Okay, it won't be. It's another Japanese division cut off. Oh god, here they come. They're using cavalry divisions now. What are they using over here? Cavalry and infantry? Well, you know, it's costing them. There were 700 and I believe... 35,000 casualties at the beginning of the episode. Uh, so now they definitely have a lot more. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, we are really, really overextended here, guys. I don't like the size of this line. Um, in fact, we might have to create a new separate army to man a chunk of this. Because I, our advantage right now is that we are not as strung out as the Japanese are. But now we are getting there. Okay, so what are these divisions missing? I want to know before we... Okay, they're missing towed artillery, as I suspected they might be. Okay, we're going to get another military factory soon. I'm surprised we haven't captured any up through here, although I don't know how developed the region is. Okay, ooh, all right, beautiful, okay, we got our man back, we got our man back, guys, so now what do we want to do with our operatives, well, the first thing I want to do, I do want to make some upgrades here, We, I do want to get a third agent for us, let's see, Targeted sabotage efficiency, portable radios, blueprint stealing. No, 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 no. Uh, let's see. We should do passive defense. That is kind of a must. I'm actually ashamed we haven't done that yet. And here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to start to really mess with communist China before they mess with us. So let's get in there. And let's go ahead and build an intel network down here in South Korea. Because we could start to really inflame the resistance down here and degrade the Japanese abilities even further. 
and possibly even start to bomb their ports. This is going to be one of their main ports soon, as soon as we cut all this off. Yeah, because they don't have a port up north here, so that would be the way to go. And just make their supply situation a nightmare. Yay, we finally got a tank. And we are so far behind on that, guys. It's ridiculous. It is now 1939, so we can go to the next round of 1939 text. So let's get concentrated industry. Or do we want construction? I'd rather do construction first. Okay, good. Let's carry on with that. Decisions available. Uh, no, we don't want to do any of those. Or do we? Oh, God, yeah, we got to get our infantry equipment up. Come on, we're almost there. Yeah, one more day. Just one more day and we can do a counter-infiltration. Ooh, financial policy. All right, consumer goods factories, minus 5%. And we get TV soon. Who is TV soon? Let's see. Financial experts. Further reduces consumer goods factories. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of consumer goods factories. Otherwise, I would make use of him. All right, let's get rid of the communists in Xi'an again. I thought we already did that. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. Yes. Now, this is going to do three things for us. It's going to replace our low inflation with a stable economy. It's going to further reduce our consumer goods factories and increase our factory outputs. So boom, that is a really good one. Because what does low inflation do for us? Minus 5% factory output and plus 5% consumer goods factories. So man, it is finally just straightening out our production here, guys. Finally. All right. How are we looking over here? I don't want to just get too comfy and say, ha ha, you can't land here because then the AI will land there. Make sure that we are, in fact, blocking these landings. Okay, good. Good, good. Alright. Uh, you know what? Uh, I would rather have two of you over here in Communist China, because it looks like they have a pretty strong defense against um, building an intel network. German Reich claims memo. Oh boy, it's already starting. Oh look, a counterattack. That's cute. So yeah, guys, we got them real stretched out. And the reason being is for some of their previous landing attempts. Not attempts, but actual landings. Uh, see, they have 22 to 43 divisions now. Uh, an episode or two ago, they had like... 30 to 75 divisions so those really hurt them and as soon as the americans get involved in the war you know way down the line that's really really gonna screw them up i mean the americans overwhelm them enough as it is but if the americans decide to take a shot at the home at the uh, home islands then forget it you're done so let's go for this attack again now that we have more artillery and more anti-air their aircraft their uh, support craft can't really get at us as much. Let's see. They have 49. And our AA hasn't really taken effect yet, it looks like. Okay. We do have 150 political power. Uh, what I would like to do... Was it uh, logistics? No. Not him. Uh, what we do need... Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and look at our industrial concern. Um, this isn't uh, uh, this doesn't apply to us just yet because right now we're not really using that much oil we have a few aircraft but when the time comes I do want to do the uh, oil research speed so we can try to become oil independent ish of course China's never going to be completely oil independent but um that's what I would like to do. So, uh, yes. Do, 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 do. No, it was none of these. Uh, we, what we got here? We have the silent workhorse. Uh, we have popular figureheads and the elusive gentleman. Yeah, that is perfect. That's great. That is what I wanted. 
So what we will do here is the army logistics expert and reduce our attrition. It's not a matter of manpower, it's a matter of equipment. Our precious equipment not dying. Stupidly. <laughs> if you know what I mean. Ah, jeez, even this isn't enough. And see, even this time we have a little bit of air power. But our artillery just isn't enough. Let's see, what is hurting us here besides the terrain? Their tactics. We have the higher level general, but they have the tactics on us. So that is unfortunate. And we do have Marines 1. Which we are going to use like way, way later because of the fact that we can't really land anywhere against the Japanese. Next up. Yes, please. Let's do the uh, next round of infantry equipment. The infantry equipment 3. And let's go ahead and eliminate the communist infiltration in Henan. And get rid of those damn cells before they erupt. That's the last thing we need. It's the very last thing we need. Communist threat receding? We don't know. Why is that a question? You guys should know. What do we pay you for? If I ask you where are the communists, you better damn well tell me. They're freaking receding. <laughs> I don't know. Stupid. Right, let's see if we can't grind this guy down. Because that could be our avenue up here. We're going to have to do the grindy goo tactic again, which I hate doing. You guys know that, but if it works, it works. Okay. God. Why Why try? Why do you try? I almost just kind of want to let them in. In fact, I do want to let them in. Because we can just crush them immediately. Yeah, why don't I do that? Yeah, okay. Good. Here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, edit this order. We're going to take you and just make it like this. Yeah. Perfect. And then every single time they land, we'll just crush the divisions that they send to us. That's easy. All right. We did get passive defense. And how many upgrades do we have? Uh, I think we only have two. I want to get the th third upgrade so we can get the third agent and become spy master. So, yeah, let's do that. Uh, operations... Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, decryption. Uh, let's form the decryption department. It's going to take 25 days, which is better than the usual 30. So I'm kind of happy about that. Are they trying any different places or just that same spot over and over? I'm tempted to do the same thing here. Just pull this line back and then just crush them when they land. Yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we do that? Just for fun, guys. Because I want to keep leading their divisions. I don't want them to be able to recover from the losses that we've inflicted here. Yeah, we'll go like that. Because they're going to start to... That, that division count is going to start to go up again pretty soon. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. There's something wide open that I completely neglected to cover right here. Oh, oh, geez. Well, I guess nothing to be done about it. No? Not taking that bait? All right, fine. Fine, fine. All right, let's get another uh, main force division in here. We don't have the artillery for it, but that's okay. Oop. Let's go. Perhaps with attacking all at once, we can do it. They have 26 with division there and some crazy good, crazy good defense. Um, let's see. They have the experience advantage, intel advantage, entrenchment, country, commander skill. Wow. But that's not going to save you. It's not going to save you this time. Oh, yeah. Check this out. This could be our avenue in, guys. This could be our avenue. Oh no, they managed to land. What do we do? What am I going to do? Besides kill you. <laughs> Alright. So that's another two divisions off the map. What? How good are these divisions? Infantry template 2. So that's going to cause significant casualties. So 772,000 right now. And uh, 
Yeah, let's see what happens when these guys are finished. Did we get through? We got through. Oh dear. Uh, let's leave one to... Oh no, the Shen Zi is defending there. That's fine. Alright. Yeah, these guys are toast. Toasteroo. And goodbye. Yeah, go ahead and reoccupy that. Not all of you. Not all of you. So, how many that did that inflict? Wow. That would be 24,000 casualties in one felt swoop. And plus two divisions out of the war. Alright, so we did take that. Uh, let's go ahead and support that attack with what we got here. And let one division entrench. Yeah, there we go. Oh boy, this might take all of us. This might take all of us here, yeah. That's... Well, he is leaving, but I want to make sure his ass is thoroughly kicked. Where else are you landed? Did you guys take the bait? You did not. You did not take the bait. And I know this seems kind of gamey what I'm doing here, guys, but hey. We are China trying to survive a Japanese onslaught. I don't know if you missed that part. Okay, can't do a counter-infiltration sweep. Okay, let's look at our production now. Okay, I think we can take the safely take the infil, infiltry, infiltry, the infantry equipment back by a couple. And let's go ahead and put one into artillery and one into airplanes. So it does look like we're going to win there and get our breakthrough as we had hoped. But I'm not going to leave... Uh, our back door guarded by uh, Shan Z because they're terrible. And we got yet another military factory. Alright, uh, let's also put that into aircrafts. And we have to trade for aluminum, guys. I hate to do it, but uh, let's trade with Russia. But we have zero aluminum. Not just not enough aluminum, but zero aluminum. Okay, how's this looking? And it's looking good. Okay, so let's get... Make sure you guys... What's the shortest route here? Going up this way. Uh, yeah, that's where we're going to go. And I'll take one of you also and go with. There we go. Oh, no, you don't. No, you don't. There we go. Trying to cut us off. Okay. Alright, that's looking good. Come on, get up there, guys. You gotta get across the river. How? How did you do that? You are under attack. Alright, they're gonna lose anyway. Alright. Oh, they did take the bait. How do you like that? And he's like, oh... Oh, hi, guys. How you doing? Just die. Okay. That's another division off the map. Okay, so we did get in there. We got in there, all right. Uh, wait a minute. I thought there were more divisions here. Where... What? Oh, okay, yeah. These two are pressing forward, so you guys need to press forward as well. Yeah, we need more divisions over here. Um, hmm. We don't necessarily need four here, so let's reassign one of these guys up to the home front army. And where else? Where else? Where else? Not really anywhere else we could or should spare f divisions. Okay, we formed our cryptology department. There we go. Now we can become spy master. Now that we're spy master, we can get a third operative. And you guys know what that means. It's time for you to come up with some good names. All right. See, this is where we get our cutoff. Right here. Yes, indeed. This is where the cutoff happens. Oh, yeah, that's that's the good stuff. That's the good stuff. Oh, they're trying to take the rail, and they're probably going to win. No, they're not, because I'm going to do this. 
All right, how long till you get up there? Two days, that's fine. Yep. They know what's happening. A little too late, unfortunately. Oh, no enemy cipher is being decrypted. Well, let's go ahead and fix that. Uh, let's go ahead and do the click clack. Uh, actually, no. Cancel that. I want to decipher Communist China. Because uh, Japan has the ability to continue to change it their ciphers and update them currently. Okay, we have free civilian factories for once in our life. Times. Uh, we need more military factories. And let's build them in our heartlands here. Unfortunately, the uh, infrastructure is terrible. Uh, and I was advised about the infrastructure by Wendy to tell me to keep an eye on that because, yes, we will take some pretty nasty attrition if we don't uh, be careful. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and make our front a little girthier as well. Let's push these guys back. And why are we... Yeah, these guys may as well get in on it too. And let's stop them from going anywhere. All right, now we can widen this cutoff up. A l yes, there we go. You guys are cut off. Perfect. That will set the stage. One for pretty good casualties on the side of uh, Manchuko and Japan, both. But let's go ahead and get dug in here, guys. We have the artillery now. Help them repel the attack. Because these are good units, yes? Yes. All right. That cutoff is complete. Communist start receding. Communist contained. Beautiful. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of these guys in Beijing as well. Jesus, these guys are popping up everywhere and more frequently. I do not like that. I do not like that at all. Are there any operations that can be conducted against them? Not yet. We still got to get our... Uh, yeah, we still got to get it up a bit. Okay, that's fine. So guys, with that cutoff complete, with the Japanese contained, I think we're going to call that an episode. Uh, please guys, continue to submit your comments and any suggestions you got, because you guys have absolutely kicked ass on this campaign, and it's actually coming along quite nicely. I'm really thrilled with where this is going. I think we're going to get a few of the players knocked out of the war in the next episode or two. Uh, at least the, the few minor players that are in this, and we can turn our sights onto Communist China. Thank you guys again for watching. If you haven't can, if you haven't subscribed, please do consider doing so. It really does help the channel, and uh, I don't think you will want to miss what comes next. See you guys next time. Bye bye.